Hello and welcome to 5 inch in retrospect. Today we're going to be looking at The Doctor from The Snowmen. Uh, it was released in September 2014 as part of the Impossible set with Oswin. It has very, very good detail. The hat has a nice texture that goes all the way around, which gives it a material like feeling. The head is the standard, although there has been a lack of detail in the eyes. They're just black instead of any sort of colour. My only problem with it is the hat is slightly too high on his head, so it looks slightly weird. If the hat was a bit further down, it might look a lot better. It might look a bit better, but apart from that, it's good. Moving down we have the tie instead of the bow tie, even though he was wearing the bow tie for the majority of the episode, he did in fact wear a tie for part of it. Moving down to the waistcoat, which is very nicely done, a nice red, which is slightly darker than the rest of the figure, but it has a nice gold chain for the fob watch, which is also got a bit of silver and gold buttons running all the way up. The shirt also has uh, pinkish lines all the way along. Don't know if you can see that on camera. The jacket itself is very nice. It has a nice detail on the lapels and the buttons, a nice texture all the way along. And then at the sides, we have the pockets as well. We also have detail on on the wrist as well, as well as the shirt, which matches the same colour as the top. Moving down, he has a similar colour trousers and darkish brownish shoes. Looking at articulation, it has 360 degrees at the head, but it's slightly hindered by the coat. We have ball jointed shoulders, it's quite, quite delicate. 360 degrees at the bicep, 90 degrees, oh, the hand come off, 90 degrees at the elbow, and 360 degrees at the wrist. However, it's slightly hindered by the jacket. We have 360 degrees at the waist, go up and out, although it's slightly hindered by the bottom of the coat. We have 360 degrees at the thigh, and 90 degrees at the knee and no articulation at the shoes. The figure also comes with a sonic screwdriver. One of the best advantages of this figure is that its head is removable, which means you can put on the aged doctor's head from time of the doctor set and you have a old 11th Doctor from Time of the Doctor, even though the bow tie isn't actually correct. It's as close as we're going to get. You can also put the normal 11th Doctor's head on so that you can have him without the hat on, which looks quite nice. That wraps up our review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.